Borodar Bao. Welcome to St. Glenmine's Church in Roscollin for this Easter morning service. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This is the good news. The grave is empty. Christ is risen. Alleluia! This is the good news. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never put it out. Alleluia! This is the good news. Once we were no people, now we are God's people. Alleluia! Christ is our peace, the indestructible peace we now share with each other. Heavenly Father, all hearts are open to you. No secrets are hidden from you. Purify us with the fire of your Spirit that we may love and worship you faithfully. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin, strengthen you in goodness and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the glory on this Easter morning. <coughs> glory to God, God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the collect for this Easter day, while in our hopeless inconsolable crying and weeping and sobbing you shock and surprise us O oh god what was thought unbelievable is true what was considered impossible has happened what was feared to be the final death has been overcome no wall no door no fear no barrier or boundary can imprison our risen lord so put to death our limited expectations of what love can achieve and place at the centre of our lives the spirit of your transformative rising. Amen. Amen. So we have our readings and our first reading is from Acts chapter 10. Beginning at verse 34. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. 
He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear. Not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses. And who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our Gospel reading is from St. Mark. Listen to the Gospel of Christ according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in white in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go. Tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you, Neil. I speak in the name of the one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I wonder, have you ever followed a TV drama avidly, counting down the days until the next episode? Or maybe you just couldn't wait and binge the whole series on iPlayer on Netflix. You find yourself somehow drawn into the plot, the twists and turns. I wonder though, despite the edge of the seat stuff, the excitement of it all, has there ever been an occasion when the ending has been a real anticlimax? It's left you feeling flat, Disappointment, let down, just don't cut it. Is that really it? You say to yourself. It just didn't live up to the hype. The ending of Mark's Gospel is much discussed. There are many schools of thought. Some suggest the ending is missing. Others point to the shorter and longer endings offered as some sort of work of an of a editorial spin doctor, 
looking to give the story a better finish. What we can say is that we are left with two Marys. Two Marys who are gripped with terror, fear, fleeing an empty tomb. This strikes a disturbing note, doesn't it? Where's the hope? Where's the promise that we find at the endings of the other Gospels? Are we left with an unfinished story? Maybe that is the point. Some suggest that Mark meant to finish his Gospel as he did. So that when it was read aloud, as would have been the custom, then eyewitnesses could come forward and share and add their own experiences of that first Easter day and beyond. Admittedly, this thought is questioned, queried by many, but it does pose that question, I think. What would we possibly share as Easter people today? Recently, I attended a Diocesan Chaplain's virtual gathering for Mother's Union. It sounds very grand, doesn't it? The initial part was led by Bishop Emma, our central chaplain, who took us to another place of fear and despair. We were invited to accompany the two walking the Emmaus Road and hear their words. We had hoped that he was the one. We had hoped that he was the one. Words of such sadness, loss, devastation and hopelessness. We were invited to write down all the things that we had hoped to have done this last year but have been prevented. We shared our thoughts in breakout groups. Then, on a more positive note, Bishop Emma asked us to think about all the things we hope to do as lockdown is gradually lifted. Many shared how they found this latter task more challenging and more difficult. It is true, isn't it? We can all have times, we can all experience times when we become entombed by the troubles of our lives and we can feel hopeless. Gripped with fear and terror, we are told, the two Marys flee an empty tomb. Despite the hope of the vaccine, uncertainty and fear remains for many. A nervousness surrounds us as we take tentative steps forward. This last year has presented a challenge, a challenge of finding new ways of living and communicating. And for many, this has been a time of heartache and real struggle. Returning to our gospel in a place of panic and fear, there is hope in what Mark shares with us. The message is clear, isn't it? That Jesus has risen from the dead. The roller coaster of emotions meant, quite understandably, this message was initially tough to take in. Gradually though, what we do see is Jesus' followers transformed from a sad, defeated bunch to sharing a message of good news, that with God there is always hope. Something transformed these people, something changed them. That's something we call resurrection.
Jesus spoke of a way of being, a way of loving, didn't he? That was so radical, so revolutionary. This way of being, this way of loving didn't end with the crucifixion. It didn't die at Calvary, but was taken up by those early followers and is calling people today, still calling them, to reimagine our world. The resurrection is an invitation to live the incarnational life, Jesus living in and through us. In recent months, this has been so evident, hasn't it? In those who have come alongside friends, neighbours, strangers, sharing their crisis, their pain, their anxiety, their sufferings. Those who have made sure that we are safe, cared for, looked after. An expression of caring for the vulnerable and for each other, born of a shared experience of God's hope and love. And so to where we began, the ending. Go to Galilee was the instruction, if you remember. As some have observed, Galilee was a familiar place to them, where they lived their daily lives. A place where Christ was to be found and encountered. Easter tells us that Jesus steps into our Galilee. He is here waiting for us. Like it was for the two Marys, God with us in the thick of life. The story of lives, our lives caught up in God's story. As yet, a story unfinished to be continued, as they say. Amen. Thank you, Neil. So this Easter day, after a year in pandemic, after Lent and Holy Week, when many of us have wrestled with the events of the last year, we've faced doubt. One thing keeps us together as Christians, it is our affirmation of faith. Wherever you are, whether you're at home or at work, wherever you are watching this, this is what binds us together. These words, you know them. Those parts that you can remember, you can say them together. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, Eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified at the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death, death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. 
and its kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of thy life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So to our prayers, let us pray. Lord Jesus, this is a day of joy. Living one, I go to look where I last found you but that is now stony and dead. For you lead me forward to new life and are always one step ahead. As I leave the old and step out into the new this day, bring new life to my fingers, that I might touch the signs of your life among us and have faith. Bring new life, as I eat my breakfast, that I may know you in the breaking of my daily bread. Bring new life to the work of my hands this day, that I might trust the abundance of your gift. Bring new life when you interrupt my old ways and name me that I might recognise your calling me on. Bring new life to my eyes, that I might see you beside me as I walk my road this, uh, this day. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, God, our strength and our Redeemer, the vacant cross and the empty tomb Vindicate your claim that the love which suffers is the love which saves. So fill your people with joy and your church with celebration that the world may know that your Holy Son Jesus is not dead. that we commemorate, that we remember the living Lord we worship, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be our praise forever. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Living Lord Jesus, here are your disciples, your wounded hands and feet in the world today are ours. At times we have been the frightened ones, staying at a distance. worried about our reputations, but you come close to us, bringing peace and challenge. 
unlocking our potential and setting us free. At times we have been the doubting ones, when creeds conflict or certainty has evaded us. But you come close and allow us to speak our minds, accepting us and setting us free. At times we have been the confused ones, feeling far from you, with questions that don't have answers. So, on the day of your resurrection, we listen for your voice. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. The risen Christ says to us, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. As the body of Christ, let us join together <coughs> through our fear, through our doubt, through our confusion. May we continue Jesus' work as we travel many roads, liberated and united by the love of the resurrected one. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the, for the sake, sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so to the peace on this Easter day. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's share peace together. Peace be with you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim his mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my Um.
stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. On this day the Lord has acted, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it right, is right to give our thanks and, and praise. praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks, Holy Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Because in his victory over death, a new age has dawned, the long reign of sin has ended. A broken world is being renewed, and we are once again made whole. And so, with the hosts of angels and all the company of heaven, we proclaim the glory of your name and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of Lord. your glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All praise and thanks to you, true and living God, creator of all things, giver of life. You formed us in your own image, but we have marred that image and fall short of your glory. We give you thanks that you sent your Son to share our life. You gave him up to death that the world might be saved, and you raised him from the dead, that we might live in him and he in us. Sanctify with your spirit this bread and wine, your gifts to us, that, we, that they may be for us the body and blood of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, 
he gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come in glory. As he has commanded us, Father, we remember Jesus Christ, your Son, proclaiming his victorious death, rejoicing in his resurrection, and waiting for him to come in glory. We bring to you this bread and this cup. Accept our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Restore and revive your people. Renew us and all for whom we pray with your grace and heavenly blessing. And at the last, Receive us with all your saints in that unending joy promised by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, we boldly pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia! Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. His, His love is everlasting. Generous God, you, you have fed us at your heavenly table. table. Kindle, Kindle us with the fire of your spirit, that, that when the Lord comes, comes again, we may shine as lights before him. 
who is alive and reigns in glory forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord watch over you. The Lord's <coughs> face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord look lovingly on you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and those you love this Eastertide and evermore. Amen. 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 Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of Christ. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia.